Hi guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay guys, I'm coming at you with, I want to share how to make these shabby chic mailboxes for Christmas or for, you can just have them, you know, if you have a shabby chic, shabby chic craft room, if you have a shabby chic house, whatever. I have a shabby chic craft room and a shabby chic, I do shabby chic Christmas. So, I took these Dollar Tree mailboxes and turned them into these. And we're going to get a closer look in a second. I'm going to show you what I originally used, and this is it right here. Now, those, these Dollar Tree mailboxes, I think they're fabulous. I love the way they look. I think they're so cool. Um, you can use them just like this. You can use them as a gift box. They open up, okay? But then, they make a great structure to build on top of this if you want to change it, okay? So, and we'll get into that. I'm going to do a complete tutorial on how I made these. Okay in a second but before that I want to share with you the ones I did so let's come in closer there we go come in a little closer so at the bottom those are two the bottom is the pedestal is these two right here these two things here I got, I got from Dollar Tree and I bought those a while back those little pedestals I bought those a while back and um I picked up a bunch of them. I haven't found them for a while. So if you can't find those, you can always find these. And you can stack these on top of each other and glue them. These are glass candle holders. Let's see if I can make sure we go down a little bit. Those glass candle holders right there. And you can always glue these together. And that can be your stand, which would be gorgeous also. I should do that on one of them. I haven't done that yet. Okay, so I just want to give you an alternative. The other thing is you're going to use a glue called E6000. This is a one that says black on it. You don't want to use the black. You want to look for clear. I bought this by accident. Anyway, you glue these with E6000, okay? This is a great glue. You should always have this in your craft room. Okay, so you can glue glass together. You can glue these together. And then you can use that same glue to glue the pedestal onto the bottom of the, um, of the mailbox. I actually use a mixture of E6000 and hot glue. I do hot glue for, um, I do the E6000 first, and then I do the hot glue for instant adhesion. So I do a combination of both. Okay, so let me get this stuff out of the way. And sorry for going across, you guys. All right, now that I explained that, let's come in a little closer. So that's the front of that one. I think that's gorgeous. That's a handmade flower I have. And the back are all wedding appliques, which you're going to see. And then I have that beautiful um, dango lace, which I just love hanging. And there's more dango lace on this one. And then on the front of this one, I took a uh, brooch. It was actually a hair barrette I got from my local uh, dollar store. See how gorgeous that is? Okay, let me come back out. And I... Um, attach that onto the front and then um that braiding going around is some trim that you get at Hobby Lobby when it's 50% off you can get it for a dollar a spool and then all of those appliques in the back are wedding appliques that I have dyed avocado dyed with avocado skins you could do four or five avocado skins and a pot of water that would boil spaghetti and then you can dye laces doilies wedding appliques and where do you get wedding appliques you can get wedding appliques at thrift stores buy wedding dresses spend maybe 20 bucks on a wedding dress that has a lot of beading on it and there's all these appliques on there and that's what a lot of these are are wedding appliques okay let me turn these around so you can see how they look from the side i think these turned out so beautiful i just love them okay so that's the side of that one. And this is a lot of wedding appliques that I've avocado dyed. And then the ones that are more white, I didn't avocado dye. I just left them natural. Um, and it's a layering process. I'm going to show you the layering process. I won't go through it now. But this is um, more dangle lace. This is trim I got from Hobby Lobby. The dangle lace I got with Olivia when we went to some... Um, Hey, Olivia, when we went to some um, 
flea markets in California, I was able to pick up a bunch of uh, trims like this. Love it. But that trim right here, this here, you can get at Hobby Lobby. This I got at that flea market, this trim here. But a lot of these trims, a lot of things you can make this, make this with stuff you can find at Hobby Lobby. Now, when you go to buy their laces and trims and all that, wait until they're 50% off. And they're 50% off about every two weeks. So, again, this is another layer of wedding appliques. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's come in a little closer. Look how beautiful that is. Some are avocado dyed, some are just the natural. There's the trim from Hobby Lobby. Oh, that's a pink trim from Hobby Lobby. I love that trim. It's gorgeous. Again, you could probably get that for about a dollar for a spool of it when it's on clearance. More dangle trim at the bottom. Okay. And I love this trim here. I got this with me and Olivia split this. We picked it up at a um, at a uh, flea market in California. And we've got a big, big bolt of it. I think I spent 20 bucks. Split it with her. Both of us 10 and 10. It was pretty awesome. Okay. Let's let you see this. Did I already show you that side? Yeah. Okay. This is the back. So it's the same MO on everything. This is a uh, brooch. I picked up a bunch of those from that flea market in California. Now, I'm just showing you the techniques I've used and, and, the, and, the, and the products that I've collected. You can pull things off of dresses, off wedding dresses, um, off of prom dresses, dresses in your own closet, blouses. You can do all, whatever you want. This is just to show you what I did. Isn't that gorgeous? So these are layers and layers of appliques. And then that's like a, a beaded pearly brooch right there. Let me show you. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's what that gold trim looks like. I told you it's on that big spool that I split with Olivia. And then that's real close on the other one. Just so you can kind of see it. And the mixture of the avocado dye with the not dyeing. Also, there's the thing where you can tea dye it with, um, with green tea. And that gives you a champagne color, which is gorgeous. And that's beautiful mixed with the avocado dye or the natural color. Come out a little bit so you can see again. Okay. All right. So now you know what we're going for. Now, let me show you one more. And the reason I want to show you one more because we're going to make one like this, but we are not going to, on this one, we're not going to include the dangle trim and we're not going to include the pedestal because I need, I need some, oh, that one, yeah, let's, let's go down to the ground. I need some that are, um, let me see which way I need to go with this. There we go. I need some that are going to go on this wooden ladder that I, that I, for each season, decorate. And I can't have it on a pedestal. I need to have it flat. So this is one of those mailboxes with no pedestal. So we're going to make one without a pedestal today. Plus, if it's not on the pedestal, it'll make it easier for it to be underneath the camera. But look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that beautiful? This is a pearl piece. I think Olivia gave me that. This uh, rosette here that I have it backed with, Hobby Lobby. Um, Hobby Lobby, this trim here, and these are all wedding appliques on the back. Let you see the side of this. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me bring it over a little bit. All wedding appliques. And then, and this is all glued with, with uh, hot glue. And it's, you know, I, I love collage. That's like one of my favorite things to do is collage. And it's it, it really is collage. You're just using a different material for your collage. You're using wedding, applique, wedding appliques. You can use wedding appliques. You can use laces. You can use pieces of fabric. Um, let's suppose you have no wedding appliques, but you have a bunch of fabric. Rip up a bunch of fabric, like more like cottony type of fabric or a cotton acetate, something you can rip so the edges are all frayed. That would be gorgeous too, and you can make one of these doing that too. Um, if you have doilies, laces, you can use all of those too. 
And look around your craft room. You can use anything to decorate these with. This is just what I used. So, you could use uh, cutouts from magazines and totally um, uh, decoupage um, all kind of magazine pieces. And if you want, I do a technique where I uh, rip, up, rip out magazine pieces, apply it to a background, and then I use paint and change it, make a whole world out of it. You could do that too. Anyone who hasn't seen my work that way may not know what I'm talking about, but anyway. Okay, so let me pause this camera and I'm going to resituate the camera so that you guys can look down on top of it and just see me uh, create one from scratch. Okay, so let me resituate resitu my camera. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, you guys, we're back. Now the camera angle has been adjusted. Um, also, um, after about 25 minutes, my camera doesn't turn off. It's my phone. It just goes, it like stops this film and goes and sets up another one automatically. So if I'm talking and it cuts off, just go to part two. Because there will probably be at least two to three parts to this. Um, and actually there will probably be part, two parts. Maybe not three. Anyway, we'll see. All right. So what we have here is one of those mailboxes that I showed you from Dollar Tree. I have painted it um white but i did actually use because painting it just white you don't have to do so you have to spray paint so many coats of white so i did use a white primer spray paint then just once and then i used a regular cheapy spray paint just so i don't waste too much of my primer because it's not cheap and that got it basically white there's still some stuff showing through but that won't matter but you want to get you know this decor off of here the other thing you want to do is you want to glue down this little flag because I don't see how I didn't paint underneath here. So, and plus we just want it glued down. We don't need that flag for any reason. It's going to be covered up. So let's glue down the flag. All right, so that's glued down. Also, the next thing we want to glue down is the little flap here. Because we're not going to, we're not going to be opening this. So I just glue it down from just the top here. Just like that. Hot glue that down and we'll be using hot glue the whole time okay and I hope I'm not working too far away but I need to work at a good distance so that you can see what I'm doing so I think this is gonna work and if I need to zoom when I need to zoom in I'll zoom in the reason I have my mirror my mirror that I use because I don't okay I'm using my phone so I don't have one of those like little flip outs to see so I can always see if I'm in frame and my camera is way higher than I am and it's facing up to the um to the uh, ceiling so this way if I use my mirror I can just look in I can look at my camera and without having to get up all the time and see if I'm in frame okay people ask me that about, about that all the time okay so the first step I like to do is I have this piece of fabric here it is absolutely gorgeous <clears throat> Olivia Hernandez. Hey, Olivia girl. She gave me this. She, she uh, gifted this to me. Um, she is always shopping at, at um, wonderful flea markets, thrift stores, and finding different things. So, as, as I do too. I love finding stuff like this. Okay. So, this is the fabric. Where is my... Okay. So, this is the beautiful fabric. And I'll kind of show you. Let me come up a little close so you can just kind of see. Isn't that gorgeous? This could have been a dress. Um, I don't know what it was, but she gifted this to me and I love it. So I'm just going to just measure this and kind of over measure it to leave a little bit of um, fabric on each side. Leave it a little longer than I need so I don't come up short. And this is the best way to do this I found to be able to fit it. So cut it a little bit bigger than you need. And I have some left over. I absolutely love this. And I do advise, okay, you're going to see me doing layer upon layer upon layer, and I'm going to cover things. But that's the beauty. You want things layered up, and then things will peek out and peekaboo through. And that's what makes things, gives things um, a soul. It makes it more magical. Um, gives it more depth. Okay? All right. So... Turn it over to the side. And let's hot glue. I'm going to glue it just like this. 
Okay, and then we're going to lay this on top. And see, we're, it has an overhang, which is perfect. We're going to cut it all around it once it's dry. Then I'm going to take, this is a, um, just a spatula. I got a pink one from um, Daiso, of course, $1.50. Love it. Isn't it pretty? You can also get these uh, type of spatulas, the same ones that you use, the silicone ones from Dollar Tree. And I would, if you're going to do this type of work and work with hot glue or any type of work and work with hot glue, instead of using your fingers, get one of these and make sure it's silicone because then the hot glue won't stick to it. I love it. And I love it because it's small and pink and cute. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and add some more glue. All right, I know if I stay in this area, I should be fine. Okay, so let's use some more hot glue here. Okay, and lay this on top. So like I said, um, this could be a piece of lace that you got for a good good deal at a thrift store. It could be a piece of clothing that you had, a skirt that you had. This could be, you could, if you have a bunch of doilies, you could do doilies. They have some doilies from Dollar Tree, you guys. You could lay doilies on here and do it with those. They're in the section, the kitchen section, and they're about this big, the doilies are. Um, I'm trying to see if I had some out. I thought I had some out to show you. If I run into them, maybe I put them away. I had some out. Anyway, they're big doilies, about this big. You could lay two or three of them, and that could be your base. And Dollar Tree, okay? So, maybe I should have done them with those, because then you guys could have seen those. But, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. And they, they pretty much consistently have those um, doilies at Dollar Tree. So, I bought a ton of them. I was so afraid that they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't carry them for very long, so I bought tons of them. They always have them there. But you know what? Whenever you find something that you're going to work with a lot, buy it. Or something that you really want, and you may want, you know, 10 of them or 11 of them or 5 of them. Just buy them that day because you can go back hours later and they're all gone. Somebody like me comes in. <laughs> And clears the shelf. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I've done it many a times at Dollar Tree. If I don't clear the shelf, somebody else is. That's how I. That's how I look at it. And it's true because I've come back and like I'm. I, I've come back and I'm like, oh, I want to get a couple more of those. They're gone. And we're talking a few hours later. Okay, so now we have. Now we have, see the overhang here? So now we're going to trim off the overhang. Let me get my scissors. Aren't these scissors, Aren't these scissors gorgeous? These are such beautiful scissors. They got them from Dollar Tree, and they only had, uh, I only found one pink, uh, pink scissor. I was looking for more. I kept thinking, oh, I'll run into more. Those scissors went so fast, these beautiful scissors like this. I should have picked up at least purple few of the other colors and they cut really nice so look I'm cutting fabric with these all right so I'm going to turn this and I'm just going to keep going around see isn't this an easy way of measuring it without really having to measure it And then we're just going to trim around. And we're going to do the front the same way. The, the front and back of the mailbox the same exact way. Throw a little more hot glue on this corner right here. And let's put that here. And just trim around. I mean, look at this. Look what we've, we've look what we started with, and now look at it. It's beautiful, just like this. If you want it, you could stop here. But we're not going to. We're going to keep on going. Okay. 
I save pieces like this because I do other things because I'm crazy. Look, I have a whole bag full of scraps. <laughs> you can make paper clips out of all those little scraps. You can make a million things. You could cover an entire box like this in all these scraps. And that would be gorgeous. Maybe someday I'll do that on camera. Do a scrappy one. Okay. All right, so now we have this up right here, right? This side needs to be covered. So, again, take our same piece of fabric and let's lay it on top. And just lay it so and cut it just a little bit bigger. And this is so we're not you're not pigeon pigeonholing yourself. <laughs> cutting yourself short. I'll say that. You're not cutting yourself short on your fabric. Okay. So again, same thing. I'm going to put hot glue all the way around. Now you guys see why you need hot glue to do this. Again, you can get your hot glue sticks at Dollar Tree. I personally, I, I do get, I always have a couple of bags of the Dollar Tree ones because you get 20 for a dollar which is a good price um, but they're the mini sticks and you go through them so quickly when you're doing a project and you have to keep changing out glue stick so I actually like to work with a really nice big glue, gu glue gun like this sure bonder I think I got it at Joanne's Michaels but anyway I like to buy at, at a Walmart or at Walmart for five bucks you can buy the 50 and they're the big thick ones see so you don't go through them so fast so you don't have to keep changing it out all the time. But if the mini glue stick is what you have, then, you know, that's what you have. Don't even fret it. But if, as soon as you can, I would upgrade to a bigger one if you're going to do a lot of work like this. Okay. If I go out of frame, you guys, sorry, I'm just having to... trying to stay in frame and do the work. <laughs> okay. And like I said before, um, my camp, it's my phone that I'm taping on. And um, if it cuts off while I'm speaking, just go right on the part two. Okay. All right. All right, so look how beautiful that's done. Isn't that done gorgeous? So I think that that's a really good trick to show you guys because you, you could be really confused. Like, how are you going to cover that so evenly? It looks like I perfectly did that. And I did, but I did it in a really easy way. There was no measuring involved. How would you measure something that's in that shape? That's crazy. Okay. Again... Go ahead and lay that on here. Yeah, the only measuring you're really doing is laying the piece on there and giving yourself a little extra fabric and then gluing it on and cutting it around. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, what the heck. All right. Again, do the same thing. Hot glue. All the way around. Now, most of this is going to be covered up, but it's going to peekaboo through here and there. And the more layers, like I said, gives your, gives your mailbox depth. It gives it a soul. It gives it, gives it that oomph. And it gives it interest because this peak, this, this fabric peekaboos through everywhere. So you'll be seeing it and you're not even know you're seeing it. All right, so now let's start the cutting. If I get out of frame for a second, you guys, sorry, I have to kind of move this box around a little bit. I think I'll stand up. That'll make sure easier that I'm on camera. 
I know I worry a lot about being out of frame, but believe me, I've had videos where I'm out of frame. I've had videos where I'm too damn close <laughs> with my face doing a haul video. That was a couple of videos ago. That was crazy. Anyway. And then I need a little bit more glue right here. Right on the edge. Okay. So now we're ready. Now we got our base on here. So we've done, we first painted this whole box white, right? Got rid of all the print. Our second layer now is all this beautiful fabric, right? All right, so let's turn it like this. Okay. And let's start applying appliques. So before I did some of the, these type of appliques, like look like that and like this but this time i want to use some of these i got these with olivia at a um flea market i think they're absolutely gorgeous look at these appliques aren't they gorgeous my christmas is very shabby chic it's like a robin's egg blue pinks creams so and look at this purple one. i'm not gonna use purple because i don't have purple in my decor but isn't that gorgeous beautiful if this was just going to be my craft room, I definitely would put this on there. Um, in when it's not the season, I take I when I, I store these in my craft room and use them as decor in my craft room because my craft room is all shabby chic, like my Christmas is. Um, so I don't put these away. So these new ones I make, they'll be in my room as decor. Okay, so the layer before I start putting these appliques on, I also have that in like a cream color. I'm looking forward over here on the side. If you guys could see the pile of laces I have. And I know it seems impossible to like collect stuff like this, but it's not. Um, pay attention. Always be go trying. If you have any uh, flea markets, go to those. Go to um, thrift stores, Salvation Army. Um, always be looking around. Always be paying attention. And before you know it, you'll have a collection of this type of stuff. Oh, the other thing I want to tell you is these mailboxes, um, these mailboxes are not at Dollar Tree all the time. They, they're only at Christmas time. They put these out, they go quick, you guys. So they'll be, if they're not in your store now, because my store doesn't have like a bunch of boxes yet, because they like to go in order. So it's about, I don't know, the first or second week of December, the boxes start coming out at my Dollar Trees. So be paying attention, look for those mailboxes, and when you see them, if you think you're going to need 10 of them, buy 10. If you're going to use them for gifts, you're going to use them for, um, so I think it's a great box to throw gifts in, to throw a bunch of bath accessories or something. So cute. Or you're going to decorate them. So pick up as many as you think you're going to want. So, all right. So we're going to hot glue this on. So this is going to be a beautiful layer before we get to this layer here. All right. And I'm just going to lay this on top here. Yeah. All right. Make sure I have it on the right side, yeah. And when you're attaching these on, a lot of times you don't need a ton of glue. Like, I don't need to put glue on everywhere. You just need to tack it. So, I'm just going to put it, like, I'm going to put a little glue there, a little glue there, a little glue there. And especially since this is so sheer. Okay. So now we're at the top. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue here and there. Hey, honey. All right. Okay. And then let's attach it here. That was my husband. He's going to run an errand.
I love doing this kind of work. It's like when I do my collage work with my mixed media. But like I said, I'm not using magazine bits or music notes or book pages. I'm using laces, doilies, wedding appliques. It's pretty fun. Okay, so now we have this. Okay. And we have that, and we have that. Okay. All right, so we're going to keep going with little bits. And that's all you're doing is you're just applying little bits on of what you have. So this is gorgeous. I have a lot of these. I bought a ton of these at that uh, thrift store. And I am going to... I might put this on like this. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. Now look, I know I just covered up some of that pink. I know. But I still have some of that pink peeking through. Peeking through the holes here and peeking up here at the top, right? All right. Let me make sure I have it on the right side, yeah. Oh, and those pedestals that I was showing you, these, once you uh, E6000 these together, if you're going to put it on a pedestal, the, your mailbox, you have to paint them. I mean, you don't have to paint this one. You can just leave it white like this if you wanted. But the black one, you obviously then need to paint it. So you might want to paint the whole thing, whatever color. Like you might want to base paint them white, a couple coats of white. And if you want to do it a pastel pink, you can. You could just do an off-white or cream, whatever you want to do. So do make sure you paint them. I didn't say that. I meant to say that, but I didn't. Okay. Okay. Again, use your... I saw a girl a long time ago sit, talk about this from Dollar Tree. And then I ended up finding a pink, beautiful one from Daiso. But um, I was like, oh, that's genius. Because they did, they were selling these. I don't forgot what brand it was. They were selling like these little fingers that you could buy, these little silicone fingers. But, you know, those are 6 or 7 or $8, something like that. And this girl was talking about she uses one of these silicone spatulas. I'm like, uh, that's genius. So I went to Dollar Tree that same day and picked myself up one, plus probably a million other things, because I can never go in there and buy nothing. Oh, that's not true. Today, I did go to Dollar Tree, and at the first one I bought, you know, a good $20 worth, which is actually doing fairly well, because I usually spend more than 20 bucks. But then I went to a second Dollar Tree, and you know what? I walked out with 